the first step in the pole vault. The athlete's performance in the approach will establish the course for the entire chain of events which follow. The takeoff, the inversion, and the flyaway. The primary objective in the approach is to accelerate to maximum controllable speed while setting up a vertically directed jump at the takeoff point. During the approach, sprint mechanics are more important for the pole vaulter than they are for a sprinter. In other words, a gifted athlete who sprints can relatively perform well in sprints even with poor sprint form. However, the gifted athlete in the pole vault without good sprint form will find it difficult to clear bars relative to his or her athletic skill level. The sprint mechanic basics to focus on include foot strike position, leg cycle, hip pelvic tilt position, and stabilizing the core. These four basic focuses will maintain a position where the athlete can increase acceleration and hold the posture required to produce a vertical jump at the takeoff. The foot strike should be directly underneath, if not slightly behind the vaulter's mass. The foot should strike the ground in the dorsal flex position or on the ball of the foot without the heels touching the ground. The foot strike position is the same as when jumping rope. This allows for maximum force output and speed efficiency. The leg cycle should look like an elliptical significantly in front of the vaulter, without overstriding or reaching, with the recovery beginning immediately at the loss of contact with the ground in the foot strike position. A poor leg cycle will be viewed as an elliptical behind the vaulter and never achieving good leg lift. This is sometimes referred to as a falling run because the vaulter is out of or close to losing control and appears as if they may fall if their speed increases.